Well, perhaps unsurprisingly, these tariffs will kick in on September 24th, the same day that U.S. tariffs on uh, those $200 billion worth of goods uh, kick in uh, as well. And these Chinese tariffs will target around 5,000 different products, most notably uh, things like farming goods and machinery and chem uh, industrial uh, chemicals, no doubt uh, uh, aimed at uh, hurting uh, Trump's supporter base. And that is something that does seem to have irked the president, who has made the suggestion that China is uh, trying to affect the outcome of the midterm uh, elections. At the same time, though, China has refrained from putting the, uh, the uh, tariff rate at the highest level at 20 and 25 percent uh, as it said it would and has kept it at 5 and 10 percent just like uh, Donald Trump had kept the uh, Chinese tariffs on uh, at, at, at 10 percent although he has said that he will raise them to 25 percent on January 1st. And what's the biggest concern about this latest development Patrick? Well, it certainly doesn't set very positive conditions for these talks, which are, which are meant to be happening next week between Beijing and Washington to try and uh, resolve this issue. Uh, and certainly as far as China's concerns, they say that uh, America isn't showing any goodwill going into these discussions. But the bigger concern, perhaps, is that uh, it sets in, uh, in motion phase three, of, if you like, of this trade war, which could see Donald Trump uh, impose a, a tariffs on a further 260 67 uh, billion dollars worth of Chinese goods uh, covering nearly all Chinese exports uh, to America and uh, certainly it does seem as though there's going to be no quick fix to this ongoing trade war and uh, perhaps there will be no outcome from these uh, trade talks that are going to be taking place and analysts are certainly saying now that they are very much concerned that this could escalate even further. Well, many thanks for that there, Patrick Falk there from Hong Kong. And let's cross now to John Brain in Washington. So how big of a gamble is this tariff war for Donald Trump, John? Well, it's a huge gamble, not least because the American economy has been doing very well recently, partly because of Donald Trump's own tax cuts. And all conventional economists agree that trade wars don't really help anyone at all. So Trump is uh, risking these retaliatory tariffs from China affecting the successful companies such as the farming, the chemical manufacturers, industrial manufacturers. They're being penalized when they try to export. And he's also protecting companies in the United States from competition. Now, that uh, may seem a good thing for those companies in the short term, but it's competition which, uh, which re re uh, leads to innovation, leads to them rationalizing. And uh, ultimately, the consumers will be hit in higher prices. And finally, he's also risking the relationship with China. That could be ja damaged even further. A trade dispute now, yes, but it could escalate into something more. And there are already signs that Chinese naval and air forces have been carrying out increased harassment of American forces in the South China Sea. So uh, there are very high stakes being played here.